Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins. We are here for Chamber Spotlight's foodie segment at the new Eddie V's. Been in Burlington for about six months and they are doing unbelievable things here. If you haven't come, you really should try it. Today we're going to talk to David Greekwood, the managing partner, and Chef Patrick Clancy um, is going to also show us the Parmesan sole. It's a great treat and we're happy to have you join us. I am thrilled to be at Eddie V's today with David Greekwood, who is the managing partner here. David, thank you for joining us today. Excited to have you here. Thank you for having Burlington me. Burlington is one of these communities that has been really quite fortunate with their restaurant scene, right? I mean, it has been a remarkable growth that happens, and every time we think there can't possibly be another restaurant that's going to be as good as the ones we have, enter an Eddie V's, which is like spectacular. Tell me about what you think about the Burlington scene and how Eddie V's has kind of been fitting in. Well, it's an interesting question. I, you know, I agree with you that that uh, it almost seems as though the market might be saturated, but then these restaurants open and they do well and you know, we continue to open more. And you know, we're excited to be here and so far so good. The restaurant's been doing really well. It has been so yeah. well received because again, I mean, the marketplace here is so strong yeah. and the, the bar has been raised, David. I mean, it Thanks. is a remarkable thing when you walk into a restaurant of this caliber and you are treated with such grace and warmth from the second you walk through the door. You know, every one of your servers, every one of your staff I mean, everybody is really kind of trying to make it a um, an experience you don't forget is that you know talk about that a bit as a managing partner you know the importance of having staff that kind of delivers you're delivering good food but the people who deliver it are just as important well we first of all let's talk about the, the team right? yeah so we've been very fortunate the fact that we're able to gather such an amazing group of people is why we've been successful up to this point why we'll, we will continue to be right so we call it feeling the love yeah yeah, you know, we want people to walk through the door and feel the love and, and really, uh, you know, know that we're excited to have, you know, our guests here and we want them to, to leave thinking that this is the best dinner they ever had. Yeah. You know, 100% satisfaction is our goal. So let's talk about the food a little bit. Please? Yeah, um, yeah. Eddie V's is known, of course, you have great steaks and a bunch of different meals, but you're known for your seafood. Would that be a, a, a non statement I or a good statement? I think that's a fair assessment, yeah. yeah. So, so talk uh, about the we're seafood We're known for our, our, our prime quality uh, seafood, but as well as our, our prime quality steaks as well. So I want you to know I've tested both and, and as have I. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I would say that our our steak could rival any steakhouse in the area. True. Uh, all of our steaks are prime prime grade. So with that being said, my hope is that you're going to try a little bit of our uh, Parmesan crusted well, sole. Well, I mean, if I have to. In yeah. a minute, yeah, we'll force you to twist <laughs> right. your arm. But chef is going to uh, prepare that for you. I would say that that's probably my favorite. And we've got a number of wonderful options on the menu. Right. Uh, and seafood comes in every day. I mean, I know every that. Every day. Yeah. So it's coming in fresh. Yep. Not only do you do good seafood, good steak, great menu, but your bar is out of this world. I think our bar scene is what sets our, our restaurant apart in regards to other restaurants in the area. You know, we do have live entertainment every day, right. which is cool, even on Sunday. It's an irresistible vibe, as we like to say. It's a fun place to be. Um, we offer, obviously, full menu, full service at the bar, as well as the lounge tables. Do you find people are eating at the bar more? Quite a bit. Yeah. And then your drink menu is really great. I mean, obviously the standard drinks you can get here, but you really have some great unique drinks. Talk about what would be your favorite. I'll tell you my favorite after you tell me yours. Okay. All fair right. enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what I love about our, our drink program yes. in general is just it brings a little bit of a flair for the dramatic, right? Yeah. So our presentation is really cool. Well, my favorite drink on the menu is the smoked old fashioned where we actually, you know, torch a piece of cherry wood right in front of the guest and we fill the glass with smoke. You know, it's kind of a deconstructed old-fashioned that we put together right in front of the guest which yeah. is a lot of fun and then we have our hope diamond which is like a blue ice cube and we pour a clear liquid over that that turns it's like a magic trick right in front of the guest a lot of ingenuity to it and more importantly it tastes good absolutely right, so, right. Yeah. and so you did take my favorite drink because I do have to say for those who do or the smoked old-fashioned oh, yeah God. what a drink yeah. and, and it's, it's a great console. presentation yeah it really Thank is you. yeah, yeah. yeah. So David, it's kind of hard to ignore that when you walk into this restaurant, there is this beautiful display of lots of wines. Wine yes, yeah. the wine room. So can yeah. you talk a little bit about sure. the wines that are available at Eddie V's? Yeah, well, you know, we've only been open for six months, so our wine program is still evolving and getting better, but yeah. uh, we do carry over 2,000 labels, all of which are kept in a temperature-controlled environment, right? So when you have high-end wines, it's really important that you keep them at the perfect temperature so as to not spoil and whatnot. But, you know, and yeah, you know, it's just a, it's a really cool display, like you said. 
I mean, we just set up in a beautiful manner right in the middle of the dining room. It's you were recently it's a recognized. Yeah. Yes, and we were recently recognized with uh, Wine Spectator uh, right. for having one of the top wine lists in the area, which is exciting. And what's really exciting for for me and for our wine director Anna is that it's still growing, right? So we're still adding to it, and we're trying to you know find some cool vintages and some different things that we can add to our reserve list, which is fun. And then you also have private dining, which is fantastic. We have anywhere from a room that holds 14 people up to 14 people. It is fully private. It's called the Speakeasy Room. It's right off the bar area. We also have our Franklin Room. Uh, this space holds up to 35 people. We also can do cocktail receptions for a little, a little more than that in there. And yeah. then we have our Hancock Room, which we can set up to 60 people uh, in that room for a seated dinner. You know, and, and that offers a fully private space as well. What I love about our private areas in this restaurant is we can open up the curtains and really make you feel like a part of the dining room if that's what you want. Yes. Or it can be, you know, we can shut the curtain, shut the windows and have you be, you know, completely private as well. So yeah. it suits a lot of different types of events, right? So whether it's a, you know, a personal birthday party or that type of thing, or it's a business oriented, you know, dinner or, or you know, pharmaceutical dinner or that sort of thing, we can accommodate that. Absolutely. As well. And so. and for people watching, you have full capacity for A V as well. So we do. yeah, so you could do presentations when you're doing yep. private dining, you can do anything like that because there's a full AV. In capacity. all of our rooms we have full AV capability. Uh, webcasting is one of the things that we've done a lot of. You could do anything from just being at the bar all the way to a private party when you step into Eddie V's. I mean it's like a buzz, it, it, the vibe is what you used yeah. as a word, but there really is that when people talk about Thank the restaurant so which is great. Um, all right, so. Another question for mm -hmm. you. There's, you could be a friend of Eddie's. Did I say that right? Or a you friend did, of yeah. Eddie's V's? Thank you for asking that. How, yeah. how do you do that? Yeah, so um, there's a couple of ways. Uh, one, just coming in, we can add you into our system. And uh, basically what it does is it allows for you to receive marketing opportunities and that, you know, and just information regards to some events that we have coming up and, and any type of thing that we have going on, any type of holiday events that we have coming up and that sort of thing. If you wanted to receive that information, you can log on to the website, eddieV.com and uh, just throw your, uh, your email address in there and we'll send that stuff out to you. Your group is very dedicated to community service, which is commendable. So talk a little bit about that, the importance of Eddie V's being sure. tied into the community that they do work in. You know, being strong business citizens is something that is a huge focus for Darden Restaurant Group in general. Yes. Uh, and when I worked for, with Capitol Grill, it was the same way. And, and being here, it's, um, you know, we recognize the importance of being involved with the community, you know, our philanthropic activities, yeah. you know, so we're currently involved with uh, the Leahy uh, Hospital Foundation. They do a lot of great work with, uh, you know, some unfortunate things like domestic violence and mental health issues and that sort of stuff. So we involve ourselves with them. And then we do a harvest program, which is really cool. We donate food twice a week to uh, local food pantries and we do that twice a week. Yeah, we try to involve ourselves in a number of different ways when it comes to charitable issues. I mean, obviously, uh, our charitable events we, right. we give out uh, marketing cards, gift cards to auction things off and that sort of thing. We have silent auction events and that sort of stuff that we help with. So, it's great. yeah, it's great. It is. It really is. is. Well, David, thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. I hope people come and visit you thank here you. often. We're going to remind them that there's live entertainment every night in the bar. The bar opens at 4, the dining room opens at 5. There's private dining capabilities as well. If you haven't been to Eddie B's, shame on you. You should get here, right? And um, thank you so much for joining thank us today. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it very much. All right, we are here with executive chef partner Pat Clancy. Yes. Pat, thank you for letting us in the kitchen. I always feel like this is a good run for me because I love food and then I get to be in the kitchen with the chef. So that's as good as it gets. We have, a, we, have a, we have a beautiful kitchen. I love to show it off. Absolutely. So let's talk about what we're going to make today. It's sure. so a Parmesan sole. Yep. So it's just a lemon sole that's uh, done with uh, panko and um, Parmesan breadcrumbs with some buttermilk. And then it's just seared on the flat top. And then we have a really light tomato salad that goes with it. And then a lemon butter sauce for it as well. Let's do it. First, take our piece of sole, season it lightly, a nice Cantonese flour, and then it's dredged in buttermilk. And then this is our panko and Parmesan crust. And then we go over to our, our griddle here. Okay. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes. Nice, we want a golden brown. And, and we do have a menu that's uh, uh, gluten friendly, um, which I know that's an, another big, I get lots of questions about that. So we do have a menu that is more geared towards people that have, you know, gluten intolerance. Yes. So that's what you're looking for, a nice, even golden brown. That's the panko starting to color up. And then you have the Parmesan cheese in there as well. It's yeah. going to you know, color up as well. So 
in another couple, three, four minutes on that. It's beautiful, light, flaky. You get the flavor of the Parmesan when you're eating it. And I guess we have a nice uh, lemon butter sauce with it for it as well. And a tomato salad that we make every day. It's just uh, heirloom tomato, baby heirlooms. Just very simple with extra virgin olive oil and some salt and pepper and some chives and red onions. And our sauces are very simple. Um, but very quality driven. We have very strict shelf lives on everything. We always like to have our plates in the oven, keep them hot. And the rule is you can touch them with your fingers, they're not hot enough. Like I said, so this is a you know, cream, lemon, garlic butter. So we'll just take a couple ounces around the edge. That's so interesting that you do it that way because the flavor gets picked up, but it's not like drenching the fish, right? right? You're not. You're going to keep the bottom of that fish still crispy. Yeah. It's like if you you know put the sauce down first and then put that you know light crumb on top of it, it tends to you know make it soggy when you're digging into it. So, oh, didn't cut that one. So that goes there. And we have a nice little lemon, and then this is a cilantro microgreen. Excuse me one second. Then a little fresh chopped parsley around the outside. And that's it, Parmesan soul. That's a beautiful thing. Star of the show. Best part of this job for me is being able to taste it. I assure you what you saw tasted just as good as it looked. Thanks so much for joining us. For Chamber Spotlight, I'm Sonia Rollins.